Happy Tuesday, everybody. I hope you had a wonderful long weekend. Um, I hope you got a chance to um, do some fun things and um, get outside and enjoy the weather. Um, guys, I just wanted to remind you, marking period two ends soon. It ends on Friday. So, um, you know, make sure that you are looking at, um, you know, your Schoology and your Power School um, pretty regularly here over the next week to make sure that you don't have any missing assignments. Contact your teachers right away if you don't know how to access those assignments. Um, let's take a look here. Um, we have a uh, sentence. Let's eat grandma. Or let's eat grandma. Hmm. Okay, so this one here says let's eat grandma. Well, we don't want to eat grandma. Uh, I don't think we're cannibals. So we need to make sure that when we write a sentence, we actually are saying what we mean. So over the last couple of weeks, we've been working with conjunctions. And we know that we need to use uh, commas in, in use with conjunctions certain times. Um, but we also need to use commas at other times. So um, here we have, uh, it sounds like a person, a kid who's really hungry and is telling grandma that they would like to eat right away, okay? Um, so if we use correct punctuation, we can save grandma's life, okay? All right, so the essential question for this next lesson that we are going to walk through here in the next week um, how can I use commas to enhance the quality of my writing? We've been working with that just a little bit with conjunctions, but guess what? Conjunctions aren't the only time we need to use commas, and I think you guys know that. And we've also worked with transitions, and we know when we use a transition, we need to use a comma. So let's keep um, going forward here. You guys are getting good at, um, at realizing and understanding when you use, need to use commas, so let's keep adding to that. Okay, so, so far, this is what we have. This is where we're going. This is the big picture, okay? We started to learn about transitional words and phrases, okay? Um, that was a really quick lesson. A lot of it was review, okay? Like next, finally, in conclusion, right? Those types of, of words. So we did that. We learned, uh, we re reviewed those. We learned some new ones, practiced with them. Then we just finished learning about conjunctions, right? Subordinating and coordinating, uh, subordination, more subordinating and coordinating conjunctions, okay? So, um, and we learned when to use commas with those, but we're going to focus on that a little bit more, the comma usage, okay? Not just using the correct conjunction. Now we're going to be talking about commas, okay? So remember, we're almost halfway through this unit, okay? And the final product then, we're going to put all of this together. And after we're done learning about commas and practicing where to use commas, we're going to talk about essay structure, which should be a little bit of a review. Okay, you have been writing essays since third grade, I know. Um, and then we are going to chunk out our uh, New Year's essay. I know it's now going to be like February till we write this, but that's okay. It's never too late to make some resolutions, to make some goals for yourself. Um, but I just wanted to show you the overview. This is where we're going, okay, with this unit. And the whole purpose is that final product for yourself way um, to have that essay that you write that you're making some goals for your for your future for your year okay um, so you guys when um, you click into the next activity you're going to be watching an ed puzzle video and here you can see this is all about our star this week is the comma okay um, so I will not see you guys until Thursday. Tomorrow, you're going to be um, completing an online gallery walk. So I'll be coming back in video tomorrow um, for you guys to discuss and explain exactly how to complete your online gallery walk for commas. Again, guys, if you have questions or concerns, please reach out to me. 
um, message me, um, let me know, you know, how I can help you. So I will see you soon. I'm excited to see you back in the classroom. I'm sure you're excited to come back to school and be with your friends. So I will see you Thursday and please reach out to me if you have any questions.